Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Raven Sandy Gaming, and um, I, Rodians of course, I have something a little bit different for y'all today. Um, my girlfriend, this is her laptop right here, it is the Lenovo Flex 3 14 inch. Um, pretty solid little thing, however she's been having a lot of issues with it, um, and when she got it, uh, we got some RAM for her. And installed a RAM upgrade for her but now that we're sending it back in we of course have to put the factory RAM back in so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take this apart when I initially put the RAM in for her I could not find any videos any instruction at all online as to how to do a RAM upgrade on this particular computer so I figured it'd be a good chance for me to kind of uh, pull it apart and show people exactly how to get in there to that RAM so um, for doing something like this, first of all, you're going to want to take your hands and you're going to want to touch something metal that's grounded to get rid of all the static electricity in your hands. For this particular computer, unfortunately, you cannot take the battery out, so we can't um, power drain it. Optimally, you're going to want to run the battery completely to dead, though, before doing something like this. I'll go ahead and uh, show you what I mean once I do my computer, the Lenovo IdeaPad Y510P, um, because her old RAM is in there so I could get 12 gigs instead of the 8 I had prior. But anyways, um, also have little uh, coasters like this or just anything that you can put screws in so you don't lose them. That's very, very helpful. But I'll go ahead and jump right to taking it apart now. Just need some jewelers, screw, or screwdrivers to get those screws out. Um, I think 330 seconds should work fine. Yeah, that looks good. So um, I'll probably speed up this part of the video so I won't talk much, but I'll go ahead and get those screws out. Alright, so I'm going to be right back here. Um, I just need to get something for my hand so I can really grip these screws and get this out of here quicker. Alright, I'm back. I just grabbed some toilet paper real quick. This should hopefully give me a little bit better grip and help things go a little bit faster. Um, I was having issue with some of the screws, so I dropped down to a um, 5 64th inch. Um, either one, it seeming, will work for the particular screws in the Flex 3. They're just really stubborn. Alright, so <laughs> this is, we're just about done with what I would say is probably the most annoying and most difficult part of uh, taking apart any laptop. Um, we've got just about all the screws out. Um, if you notice, even though I sped it up, this one here, 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 and here, um, I couldn't get quite get my fingers in there to get them out, so I left them in there, and now I can just tip it over and let them fall into my hand. Um, and the goal is to do that without um, losing them, of course. Alright, I've got all but one of them out here, the one I was holding with my hand, so I'll go ahead and tap that sucker out. Um, the second most difficult part 
is really getting a purchase underneath this back cover here and getting it off. It's kind of a pain. Um, what I did, if I remember correctly the last time, is I just took an, um, this would be a 1 8 inch um, jeweler's screwdriver. And if you can just get purchased somewhere right at the very edge, it'll help you to um, pop that up. Preferably, don't use something metal like this that can really mar the surface of your computer or, you know, like damage or scratch it or anything. It's better to use something plastic. Um, unfortunately, this is all I have to work with, though. So, you know, got to make do with what you got. This might take me just a minute, though, so I'll probably speed this part up as well. Heck, I might even cut some of it, if I'm being completely honest with myself, because this is going to take me a minute. Alright, so I found a point of purchase over here. If you have the laptop laying in front of you with what would be the front of it, if it was um, right side up facing towards you, on the left hand side I found a little place of purchase by the uh, USB ports and then just slowly working my way down that side I was able to um, get the rest of the hooks around the entire thing to snap for me. And then just like that, that comes off. That's what it looks like on the inside. So we will go ahead and set that to the side for now. And now here comes the really fun part. Let me see if I can zoom in here on it for you. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. So here's the hard drive right here. And then right above and to the right of that, this is where the RAM is, underneath this little metal plate that is so difficult to get into. So what you're going to want to do is, again, we're going to go ahead and take that 330 seconds now, um, jeweler screwdriver, forgot I zoomed in, this is it right here, and you've just got to really carefully come here around the edges. And without mucking up the circuitry, um, release this metal plate here. It is quite a pain in the arse to do. Let me see if I can move this over a little bit more and zoom in some for you. So I'll go in pretty freaking close, see if we can um, focus that. I apologize as I'm not using the greatest camcorder ever. Let me flip it this way and see if that helps. So now if I bring it over like so. And now I don't have enough light. Give me one second. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and grab a light for y'all. And I am back. So now we have this light here. I'm zoom in a little bit more. So that gives you a pretty good view of them right there. These little clips, let me just grab the screwdriver so I can give you a better. These little clips right here are what you're going to want to undo. So I can't hold the light and do this at the same time, unfortunately. Is there anywhere I can place the light? Not really. So you're just going to have to take my word for it on this, but you just got to kind of lever them apart without mucking anything up. But once you got one side, the other side is um, quite a bit easier. We'll go ahead and zoom out now. See, now I got that one side up. This other side should be quite simple, or at least that's the, uh, that's the hope here. So let's see. But I would say it's better to start... Um, with the side that is over beside the hard drive simply because you don't have um, 
all this other crap over here to worry about getting in your way. But yeah, this is the plate Oop, right here. It's just simple plate. And then there is the RAM. This particular, um, the no Lenovo Flex 3 only has one RAM port right here. And this particular RAM is Crucial RAM, Crucial by Micron. This is my favorite brand. And this is a, if I remember correctly, it is an 8 gigabyte, yeah, 8 gigabyte DDR3 SODAM RAM. To get that out, we're just going to go ahead and, huh, just got to remember real quick how this one comes out. Aha. So you've got the res releases over here on either side. We can just pull those apart, and voila, the RAM comes out just like that. So now uh, we need to take the original RAM out of my laptop and go ahead and toss this in here. So I'll take just a moment to get that set up. All right, it's my laptop's turn. Again, this is the Lenovo IdeaPad Y510P. The very first thing you're going to want to do is unlock the battery with these little things Ooh, right back here. This one, um, this one is a lock in place. This one, you have to hold it and then push the battery out just like that. After you've taken the battery out, you're just going to want to set that aside, flip the laptop back over, and you're just going to want to purge all power you can from it by pressing the power button. After it doesn't come on anymore, just press and hold. Make sure you get all of the power out of there. You want to do this anytime you're messing with the insides of a computer, if you can go through that process. And then, of course, we're going to come back here to the back and um, work on getting the cover off. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up. It's pretty simple. Just take out all the screws and then work on um, levering it up. <clears throat> this is the hardest part of taking any computer apart is always getting the freaking screws out because they really don't want you messing with the inside. So yeah, it'll be just a minute here. I'm just going to get the screws out. I won't bother um, speeding this up because it's going to take me forever. So I'll just come back once all the screws here are ready to come out. All right, so after much effort, uh, I gave up on using the jeweler's screwdrivers. I just can't get I couldn't get enough uh, purchase with my fingers. They usually work, but for some reason they weren't working now. However, I have a manual uh, power drill, which uses mechanical force rather than you know, just straight muscle and finger grip and shite. And I found a bit that was the correct size. And now I can just insert it in, make sure it catches, make sure I am rotating the correct way, and voila, the screws come right out, just like that. So I'll be just a second. I should be able to get all the screws out now, and then we will go about getting the RAM out. All right, that is all the screws out of my IdeaPad Y510P. There's one here, 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 and one right in the center. So we'll go ahead and unlock right here and snap this up. And then again, it's just find purchase somewhere around the edges and start popping all the little clips from thence at that point forward. And voila, the back comes off just like that. And the RAM for this particular laptop happens to be right here. So you've got the fan right here, or it could be a fan. This particular laptop has these um, ultra bays where you can put a whole bunch of different things. But if you are looking at it with the battery facing away from you, the RAM will be in right here on the right closest to you. I'm going to flip it around so we can zoom in here so I can show you how exactly the RAM comes out. Oop, just got to get it within frame. So this one's really simple. It just has these little metal clips here. You're just going to put oop, your thumbs on either side and oop, pop it up. This RAM is 
Hynix and a RAM axle. The original RAM is this Hynix 8GB module and then the RAM that I took out of Allison's computer is a 4GB module of RAM axle. So we'll go ahead and pop that out as well. We will take the 8GB module that was inside of Allison's computer and we'll go ahead and toss this down here. Whenever you're installing RAM, the larger gigabyte size and the more powerful RAM you always want to put in the first slot or the slot closest to the motherboard because you'll get the best use out of it. Also, if you can see these little gold pins on the RAM right here, when you insert it into the slot, make sure those gold pins disappear. That means the RAM is fully in there, and then when you press it down, it can take quite a bit of force. Make sure it is fully seated. Sometimes it can take up to 10 to 15 pounds of force to actually get the RAM into the slot. Make sure it goes all the way in for the best performance. We'll go ahead and put the original Hynix back in now. Slots all the way in and down. Voila, that RAM is back in my computer. We'll go ahead and toss the factory RAM back into Allison's. And um, yeah, that's that. So that's how you take apart both the, the Lenovo Flex 3 14-inch and the Lenovo IdeaPad Y510P 15 15.6 15 inch. So yeah, <laughs> wherever you are, I hope you are having a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and until next time, toodles.